Hello, in this video, we will revise software licenses and the open source software movement section in CyberEthics. What we are going to do is solve a case study around it to revise it and simultaneously see some short questions on it to cover the topic. Before we start questions, here is a quick summary of open source software movement and software licenses. First is important abbreviations. You can expect a question just on this. FSF is Free Software Foundation. This is a non-profit organization created by Richard Stallman in 1985 to support free software movement. GNU's full form is GNU's not Unix. This was also initiated by Richard Stallman to create a free operating system. Now it includes wide range of software and applications too. OSI stands for Open Source Initiative. It is an organization which was formed in 1998 to promote open source movement. They are the ones which have given open source definition for any open source software. W3C stands for World Wide Web Consortium. It is responsible for software standards for World Wide Web. Next is OSS. It stands for Open Source Software. It is any software whose source code is available to modify and redistribute. It can be free or paid software. Now the open source software can be either FOSS means it is free and open source software or it can be FLOSS which stands for free library and open source software. We will see the difference between them shortly. On the internet you can find some software available where the source code is not available to you. They can be proprietary, shareware or freeware. Here either you could be asked difference between them or couple of points on each of them. Make sure you do know the examples for each of them. In proprietary software, you need to purchase the licenses and features are unlocked only after you purchase the software. Example MS Office, iTunes, etc. Shareware is where the software is free only for a specified period or only few features are available for free, example WinZip or MySQL. Then we have freeware. These are software where all features are available for free for life, example Yahoo Messenger or Adobe PDF. Now let's see the difference between OSS, FOSS and FLOSS. When we say OSS, it can be free or paid and that is defined by the license as to what features are free and what is paid. The source code modification is also as per license, example open.com or Apache. Some software is FOSS means it is free plus open source. Here the software is free with all the features but the source code modification is restricted, example like Google Chrome or Firefox. If a software is FLOSS, it has all the features of FOSS plus it allows you to modify the source code as well example Ubuntu or Tux Paint. You should take a screenshot of this for your last day revision. Let's see what are licenses next. License is permission granted by the holder of a copyright to another to use an original work. We will first see some important abbreviations. First is EULA which stands for End User License Agreement. Next is GPL which stands for General Public License. LGPL stands for Lesser General Public License. We will see the difference between these two shortly. Next is CC which stands for Creative Common License. Now the license whether it is proprietary or open source can be of different types. First is Workstation License where license is given for use on a single computer. Then there are concurrent use licenses where you can install on multiple machines but number of users should be less than licenses purchased. Then there are site licenses where you can install on any computer at a specified site. The perpetual licenses come with an expiry date but non-perpetual licenses lease the software for a specific time. Licenses with maintenance offer maintenance along with the usage. Now we will look at different open source licenses which are available. First, we will see difference between GPL and LGPL. GPL is most commonly used. 
LGPL is more restrictive version of GPL. GPL mandates that all derivative work has to be GPL and all changes to code has to be shared. So it is mostly used for executables. Example MySQL and Linux use GPL. LGPL can be used commercially and there is no requirement to share code change. That's why it is used mostly for software libraries like Sugar CRM. We also have BSD license which is almost same as MIT license. Both allow unlimited distribution as long as copyright notice and disclaimer of warranty are displayed and maintained. They also restrict using its contributors for endorsements. Next is Apache license. It allows unlimited distribution as long as it includes clear Apache license attribution and you add modification notices to all the files modified. This license also restricts using its contributors for endorsements. Other than these, we also have Creative Commons license which is used for creating work like music, art, websites. They are actually a set of copyright licenses where author can decide the condition of licensing. You should take a screenshot of this for your last day revision. Let's do a case study with questions now. We will read this together first. A software license is a legal agreement about an application. It is between the software producer and the end user and is an important part of the legally binding contract between them or the rights owner and the end user. This is to ensure recognition of rights of the owner on his creation. It specifies how the application may be used and defines the right of both the producer and the user. The open source software movement is a movement that supports the use of open source licenses for some or all software, a part of the broader notion of open collaboration. Open source licenses are licenses that comply with the open source definition. In brief, they allow software to be freely used, modified and shared. These licenses can be of different types such as workstation, concurrent, site, perpetual, non-perpetual or license with maintenance. So this case study is about licenses and open source movement. While I am going through the questions, I would recommend that you pause the video on each question while I am reading it and try to attempt to solve each of them before I give the answer. First question on this is, what is software license? The options here are Software license allows anyone to use your product. A software license is a legal agreement allowing consumers to use or redistribute software. Software license does not give any rights to the end user. And last, none of the above. Here the correct answer is B. A software license is a legal agreement allowing consumers to use or redistribute software. Next question is what is EULA? Here the options are End User License Agreement Software License Agreement Licensed Application End User Agreement or all of the above. Now this is a trick question as it did not say what is the full form of EULA. Answer is actually D because End User License Agreement can be called any of the following. Let's see the next question. Which of the following is not an open source software? LibreOffice, Microsoft Office, Linux, MySQL. Answer over here is B, Microsoft Office as all others are open source software. Let's see the next question. What is the difference between freeware and shareware? Freeware is free of cost and shareware is free for specific period of time. Freeware features are freely available and in shareware, payment is made for some specific features. Freeware and shareware cannot sell and make any changes. Or all of the above. Here again the answer is D. All of the above points correctly give the difference between the two. You can use these points if a two mark question is asked to give the difference between the two. Let's see the next question. What is the full form of FOSS? The options over here are free, libre and open source software, 
फ्री लिबरे एंड ओपन सेम सॉफ्टवेयर फ्री लिमिटेड एंड ओपन सिक्योर सॉफ्टवेयर और फ्री लिबरे एंड ओपन सेफ सॉफ्टवेयर हेयर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज फ्री लिबरे एंड ओपन सोर्स सॉफ्टवेयर लेट्स सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन जी पी एल एंड एल जी पी एल लाइसेंस हेयर द ऑप्शन आर जी पी एल रिक्वायर्स दैट यू प्रोवाइड द कोड फॉर ऑल चेंजेस मेड टू द सॉफ्टवेयर एल जी पी एल डज नॉट मैंडेट दैट एल जी पी एल इज यूज फॉर सॉफ्टवेयर लाइब्रेरीज वर्सेज द एग्जीक्यूशन फाइल्स ऑफ जी पी एल इन एल जी पी एल यू आर परमिटेड टू कीप प्राइवेट द प्रोपराइटरी मटीरियल दैट यू डायरेक्टली लिंक टू द सॉफ्टवेयर और ऑल ऑफ द अबाव हेयर अगेन द आंसर इज डी एज ऑल पॉइंट आर करेक्टली गिविंग द डिफरेंस बिटवीन जी पी एल एंड एल जी पी एल अगेन यू कैन यूज दिस क्वेश्चन टू फॉर्म आंसर ऑन जी पी एल एल जी पी एल और डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू लेट सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट अबाउट लाइसेंस इज इन करेक्ट फर्स्ट परपेचुअल लाइसेंस कम्स विद एन एक्सपायरी डेट लाइसेंस विद मेंटेनेंस ऑफ अ सॉफ्टवेयर एश्योरेंस along with the original license fee concurrent user license can be installed on more machines than number of licenses site license permit the use of software on any computer at a specific site here correct answer is d as perpetual license does not come with an expiry date all the other statements are correct this completes our case study on licenses and open source movement In our next video we will cover the next topic of IPR plagiarism and digital rights. If you would like to practice some more questions on these topic you can visit our website simplycoding.in. Thank you and all the best.